Hey, what's going on everybody? How are you doing out there today? I hope this video finds you doing well. It is a dreary, nasty, wet day outside. And unfortunately we are heading to the landfill. And I say unfortunately because last time we went to the landfill with weather like this, we got stuck. So I'm hoping we can get through it today without getting stuck, but we got to get the truck emptied out for tomorrow because tomorrow is the big job uh, in Rock Island that we're gonna need an empty box truck for because I think it's gonna more than fill it up. So I'm a little concerned about that too, but hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Anyway, guys, uh, let's get this thing unloaded. And yes, I think we have all the metal out of it. If we don't, we're gonna hold it back and get it to the scrap yard. All right, man, it's windy and it is cold, but we're gonna get this stuff out of here as quick as possible. Whoa, holy cow. We start a fire. Yeah. These will burn days. <laughs> Oh. 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 Woo. Go up okay. Well, we did it, everybody. We did it. James did it. Good job, James. Yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't get stuck at all. So, worry over nothing. You know how it is. Now we just got to take back what's left of the metal and stuff in the truck and unload that to the scrap trailer and go on about the day. Right on, right on, right on. Yep, we bring, we're, we're bringing back the scrap metal. So don't yell at me. Don't yell at James. He's very sensitive. Eh, no, I'm not sensitive at all. <laughs> nope. All right, we had just a hair under a ton, everybody, for $75. So that was uh, three jobs. So 25 bucks a job. It's kind of being consistent. So I think we can count on that to be the price moving forward to dump a job. All right, so let's do this. All right, so I forgot to film it earlier, but we got this tables out already, and this is going in the scrap. So is this table here. Geez, you could have taken the top off for me. I know, I'm gonna get the screw. The hell, do I gotta do everything? Yeah. <laughs> Bam, we gotta cut the cord. Where did that do? Snippers are in your back of the van. Yeah. Back of the van. Another thing we need to think about is uh, how we're gonna keep these cords organized. I don't know if we can keep a little keep a, a keep, keep a bucket in the front of the truck. Yeah. Yeah. For now, we'll add it to this pile of cords. Woo! Oh, toaster. Yep. Yeah. What you gotta do is cut the ends and cut the cord. Yep, like that. cut that and then cut that. Okay. I don't know. And that's all prepped. Going this stuff, so. You can actually save these and put them into a brass pile if you want. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's throw it. We'll, we'll put this in there for Ryan for his next visit. Yep. I'm gonna put these. Keep them in the truck. There we go. There we go. All right. So now this is emptied up for tomorrow. Start of Ryan's new. Collection. All right, ladies and gentlemen, empty box truck, garbage. James, do the rest. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so everything you see, except there's a wheelbarrow and a wagon, they stay. Okay. And then all this goes well, there's a chair in here, okay. that air conditioner, okay. and then this pile of brush. So, so, we're gonna have to stack it high and pack it tight. That's what I yeah. Was. Can't imagine how many gloves we're gonna go through today. It's all this stuff's wet. Oh. 
Yeah, I'll get her. Careful. Don't you get hurt. Well, there's the wagon. Here's some dollies if you want to play dolly later. Hey. Oh my god. Lamp, everybody. Make sure what we're doing with it. Unless you want it at your house. No. I mean, if you need some new recliners, but not that. Not that one, huh? Not that one. They'll clean up real nice. Beautiful. More metal? Oh yeah. Nasty, oh my gosh, you could smell that. Whew. That's a two-person. What a waste. All oh, this could have went to the goodwill. Nope. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Huh. All right. Look at that. Every horseshoe is upside down. Nice. See that? Yeah. Pouring out the luck. Huh. Yep. Just stand for a Take a breath. Take a breath. Just hang it. Start a junker mobile company, they said. It would be fun, they said. God, it smells like worse than the Mississippi. It does smell worse than the Mississippi. It stinks so bad. I got it. You sure? Yeah, I think. If not, what's the worst? The water comes out? Right. That one. I'm going to uh, help you with the red one. I just want the little one. Oh, I know you're going to help me with the red one. <laughs> you're like, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. I'm it on the ledge. Okay. Where's your, where's your dolly at? Yeah, actually, let's do that. Yeah. I'm not gonna tear you up. Do it though. You ever, you ever see that uh, Finding Nemo? Yeah. Mine, 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 mine. Yeah, mine. There, I can't. <laughs> wow. All right, let's see if James can get this thing open here. It's a 
a little quieter at the landfill on a Saturday. Imagine that. Oh, what kind of shatter was that, man? Normally they just shatter right up. Let me show you how to shatter that thing. You ready? Go. Watch that. Yep. Oh! You alright? Yep, it's the side of my head. What'd you do? What'd you do? Alright, watch this. Yep, I'm gonna flip it. I don't know what you were up to. Alright, let's challenge. Right, left handed. Whatever, right handed. Go ahead, you go first. And distance wise? Distance. I gotta wait for that cat tractor to move because I might hit it. You ain't gonna get past that yellow box. Oh. <laughs> Barely. All right. Oh, look at this guy. He had to. He... Well, you blocked the shot. I don't even know where it landed, so <laughs> I think I won. All right, I'll give you one. <laughs> All right, it's time for the million dollar question. James, did we get over a ton or not? Uh, no. All right, if we did, you're buying a beer. One you're beer. buying a beer tonight. One beer? One right. beer, no, 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 let's say six pack. A six pack? I'm still only a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> oh, that beer's gonna taste good tonight, James. It's one, 1. 1.3 quarter ton there, buddy. Ah, I know, what the hell. You only get the old steel reserve. <laughs> you give me slits or something like that, aren't yep. you? Yep. All right. Well, there you have it. Hundred bucks of the eight hundred we're going to earn went to landfill, and we got to go back for more. Round two, everybody. All right. So this is what we're going to do. What are we going to do, boss? You're the boss. No, you're the boss. We're going to take the brush, put it all in. Okay. Then we're going to take all this. We're going to rake up this loose crap. Okay. And then all the scrap metal, all the cords, all the electronic stuff is going to go right on the tail so we can put it in the other. Uh, Roger trailer. that. I think I'm going to grab these out of here too. Just to be kind. Yeah. Just to do the right thing. That stinks to high heaven. All right, so the GoPro got filled up with footage, so. What? So. Brand. There you go. Oh, that's that's a thick one. Look at the size of that. <laughs> that's some lovely copper. I think I need a wagon like this. You got it? I got it. Washing machine. Fortunately, I'd like to have that wagon. As they say, is that. 
All right, there it is, folks. Scrap metal TVs all on the end. Some brush up front. And uh, let's show you the back. All right, remember what this looked like before. And the brush pile is all gone. So is the chair and the uh, air conditioner. Well, I'm so upset I didn't uh, record the reaction. The customer's reaction was like, oh my gosh, he gave me you know, knuckles and was like, this looks so good. He goes, I can't believe it. You can just tell like a hundred pound weight had been lifted off of him. So I was like, that's pretty awesome. That's the first time I've ever seen a customer with that kind of reaction. So that was pretty exciting and kind of added to, to this. Uh, yeah, so we got the money, we got paid and uh, couldn't be more happy. We got some scrap metal, so man but uh yeah very grateful it was a good day good day so the house we just cleaned out is over there up two blocks i just wanted to see what this said oh i'm fit for human occupancy ah uh, okay i was like hey it could be a good one to flip you know good coat of paint foundation looks pretty good it says unfit for human occupancy. What you got? All oh, the windows are like Get literally open. On floors and stuff. Look at all that 7-Eleven shit in there. 7-Eleven. Oh, oh. Let me clean it up. Maybe some wiring's out of code. Huh. Holy crap, look at the back here. Oh yeah, okay. Too bad you couldn't get a How you doing? Do you know what the situation is with this house? <laughs> so that house we stopped at uh, looks like there have been some druggies there, maybe some uh, what's, what's some, uh, oh, meth heads. Meth heads we'll go with that. Yeah. But uh, the neighbors thought that the owner might sell it pretty cheap, so I'm sure my mom's at home going, Don't you even yeah, think right. about that! Yeah, <laughs> but do, if you take what you'd invest into that and break it down with the housing market right now, yeah. in the long run, you're going to benefit off the house. Right, yeah. You, you won't benefit up front. Um, and James is going to lend me the money to buy it, so... I mean, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> Definitely know where we can get a lot of the work done. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Steve? Steve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Steve. yeah he don't want, you know, he, he's too good. No. Right. Um, All it, right. It, it would take, you know, a day to clean out, literally. We know, we know a guy. We know a guy or two. Yeah. And you never know what's in the basement. Might find some mice, might find some money. Might find some drugs. Who knows? Oh, Hey, we'll sell anything. No, yes. just kidding. Just... <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Good weekend, thanks, everybody. Thanks for your help, James. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you at the next clean out. Have a great weekend.